welcome to Mastering Pivot Tables in Excel for analyzing data quickly to make better business decisions. I am your coach Vinay Prakash. In this video, we are going to look at how to add and remove subtotals and grand totals. You know, subtotals are an essential feature of pivot table reporting. Sometimes you might want to suppress the display of subtotals and at other times you might want to show more than one subtotal per field. How do you do this? Let's begin. So we are using the same Excel file working with pivot tables. I have a pivot table showing by gender, by name and by division. We are looking at the salary. Yeah, it doesn't matter what number we are looking at right now. So as you can see, if I want to bring in the position also, if I click on position, and you can see that the data in the pivot table looks quite cluttered now. There's so much information that it's quite difficult to see which one is data and which one are subtotals. So we want a quick way to eliminate some of the clutter. We can click on any one of the number fields and then go to design, then go to the first section subtotals and we can say do not show subtotals. So what will happen? All the subtotals have now disappeared. We are only looking at the base data, nothing else. Now, if you want subtotals, you can say subtotals, show all subtotals at the bottom of the group. So here we are looking at the subtotals at the bottom of each group, event total and this. Now this could be too much for you. So if you don't want it, we can anytime move it to subtotals at the top of group. All right, now let's get rid of the position to make it a smaller data. And you can easily see now the next change I'm going to show you. Now, let us say we move show all subtotals at the bottom. So what happens, we are looking at the gender, all the names, and then we see the gender female total is 38,000 and 25,000 here. This adds another row. For example, we had a row at the top of the group and now this is showing a blank. Then we see the total, the next row for M, gender blank, and then this. A better option is to go for subtotals at the top of the group. This saves a couple of lines. For example, you see now that your pivot table subtotals are appearing on the same top row and the bottom row has been eliminated. Thus, your pivot table is tighter and it still displays all the relevant information in one quick way. So all the three options, subtotals, do not show, show subtotals, all gone, show at the bottom, and show subtotals at the top of the group. Next, we look at how to hide or show grand totals. That is also equally simple in Excel. All you need to do now is to go to pivot table design and you will see grand total. So we can say off for rows and columns and there are no subtotals, no, no grand totals now. And now there are no grand totals, neither at the column level, neither at the row level. You can bring them back one at a time. For example, on for rows only. So grand totals will now appear only for the rows. Similarly, we can say grand totals on for column only. And now we see grand totals only for the columns. And if you want them both, you can choose grand totals on for rows and columns and you will have everything grand totals showing on the right as well as at the bottom. So you can choose from all the four options off on for rows and columns only for rows and only for column. Now there's another way to get to this option and that is you can right click on the pivot table anywhere and then go to pivot table options. And then if you go to totals and filters, you will see 
show grand totals for rows, show grand totals for columns. Now this is an older menu and for compatibility sake, it is still available there. So if you check off, we don't want the totals for columns only for the rows. This will also work the same way. So all you need to do, pivot table options, tools and filters. And if you remove from the rows also, so we won't see any grand totals now. So of course you can do it with the pop-up menu, but I find it quicker by going through the pivot table tools design and then going to the grand total and picking up the one that I want on for rows and columns. So for you now, go and open the file working with pivot tables, create a pivot table, come to the design option and then try out all the different options under subtotal and grand total. Get used to this, it's pretty simple and easy to do. That's it for this video. All the best.